What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part three of the Hill Giant. He is based mid-toned, ready to rock and roll for some final detailing, and then we are going to touch up his base as well. So still a lot of stuff to do, and we're going to jump right in with that. Before we do, just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. All right, enough baloney. Let's get in on the Hill Giant. So getting ready to go in on the Hill Giant with... Um, final highlight, I start off on his chest, and I have mixed a little of the um, heavy skin tone with white, and this is the mixture that I'm going with as a, as a final highlight on this gentleman here.
now I'm gonna go in on his eyes a little bit. I'm gonna start off with uh, ruddy skin. I'm gonna go dark for the pupil. I'm gonna give him a little rhinox hide. All right, I think I'm gonna switch gears into his um, his pants, and for the final highlight on his pants, I'm gonna just use, be using a little dry brush of um, Hot Yug Brown. I'm gonna just try to graze the folds. On the bag, I think I'm going to touch that up with a little bit of uh, ruddy skin. I think I'm going to put some, mix some heavy sienna with some ruddy skin and just give it that kind of reddish little shine. Just going to catch the edges. Raise areas. Getting this final highlight. Pretty good highlight. I'm going to take some of this color and I'm going to manually apply it to some of the more prominently raised areas. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go back in and touch up this Rhinox hide. Touching it up lightly though because I want to see if I can cheat a little bit and get some of that um, overbrushing that I did to show through and act as like a little highlight almost. This subtle little highlight almost using the kind of like a glaze. Gotta go up into his pack. Going back to my olive green, a little mixture of the olive green and the white.
I think as a final touch on his on his large patch back here, I'm gonna take some hot yug brown. Just glance over the uh, the edges and the corners. Kind of want to put a little point of light in his eye. I know I screwed that up. Right back in. Just try to go around it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab this stone. I'll be using a stone gray. Uh, I'm sorry, not a stone gray, a uh, dungeon stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll see when I'm done. All right, so there we go. We got the stone all done. I'm gonna go back in here with these ropes that are attaching it to the, um, they're binding it to this tree tree stump or whatever it is he's got this uh whatever he's got working for him here i'm gonna go in with this khaki and i'm really just using the side of my brush very minimal paint on this There we have it right up there. I'm gonna go ahead and give the stick another dry brush as well. Now that I'm done with that, I think I'm going to also go into that stone with a little bit of a black wash. Let that dry there. Right now I think I'm going to go in here with some metals to start capping off the main figure. Um, so he does have several... Little latches and whatnot on his belt and around his pants. So I think I'm gonna be covering those in a brass. This little plate thing strikes me like it would be um, like a dark, kind of beaten up little hunk of whatever, so uh, make it look like that.
While I'm at it here, I think I want to try to bring, continue to bring out his, the edges of his pants. So I just want to brighten those up a little bit. Yeah, let's get some hot yuck brown up on the up on the ropes. Nice and easy. The applied highlight I'm going to be using is a heavy blue gray. business with him is going to be his hair. I'm going to try to do this so it's at the point where he doesn't look like he has the frosted tips. So, um, I'm not going to go too crazy with the highlight for his hair. Uh, I think I'm just going to use a little bit of heavy brown. I just want to get it up on the top. Stone. His base is re relatively narrow in comparison to his table stand. So let that dry. 
and then move into um, the washing phase. You're going in here with the wash. So now I'm going to be using Orc Skin as a, um, a dry brush highlight. Orc Skin is more of a paler gray. I believe I used it on the on the Etten. If you haven't seen that series, um, it's from a couple months back at this point now. Really just touching up the upper areas here, the rocks around him, the areas like in the foreground where light would catch, especially the edges, because nothing's really going to be hitting underneath him, because he's just so wide. All right, there is the dry brush. Start applying some field grass. Um, have to act quickly because this glue does dry like in seconds. So popping a fair amount of field grass on the base here in, in the negative areas. I'm gonna be applying some jungle tufts just because I feel like those are closest in color to the uh, the field grass maybe a little fantasy tuft right here with some some pink accents and I am Ready to call that. Um, I'll probably go over here too and add some more field grass uh, as well. But overall, um, pretty happy with the miniature. Uh, this is the last giant that I uh, have had to paint. Painted all the others. They were a lot of fun. Uh, not on this channel. Um, Thus far on this channel, I've only painted the Storm Giant, um, but this is uh, so this this is the second giant that I've painted on this channel. As always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow Dominic Marriott of Credit UK. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.